Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. And today, as you already probably know, and the reason why you clicked on this video, if you're new here, um, is because I am going to show you how um, we minimized our playroom and how I have made it easy for us to do a 10 minute cleanup. Yes, this is a literal 10 minute cleanup um, mess here. And um, I'll show you why it only takes 10 minutes to clean up such a disaster. And I can do it in 10 minutes by myself. It's even less if the girls are helping. Um, today, I might have a little bit of help from one of the girls. <laughs> Shania, are you gonna help me clean up this mess? Hmm? Hey, get up to me! Uh, that seemed like a no to me. Are you helping clean up this mess? Or no? Fine. Fine? Yeah, yeah. I attack! All I needed was a simple yes or no, not all that. Fine. No. Okay, we'll get out. You too, little kitty. Out. Now we can out. We control this place. No, I'm gonna show you, show you control. So I'm not gonna have any help, but we're still gonna get it done in 10 minutes. And then afterwards, I'm gonna show you how we set up zones within the playroom and then zones within our storage area, which is this closet here. All right, so first step, I'm going to get to cleaning. So if you're interested, if you want to see how um, you can make your space, especially your kids' play space, more functional and easy to clean, um, then... guys pretty much a 10 minute cleanup and I did it at a very consistent but not rushed pace um, of course I speeded up the footage so that you guys could basically see it without having actually spend 10 minutes cleaning up with me But anyway, so as you can see, it took me 10 minutes to clean up that whole disaster. And now I'm going to show you guys the different zones and some of the organizational um, aspects of the playroom that we put in place in order for me to be able to do that. Okay, so and a little playroom tour, I guess, just is going to come with it naturally. But okay, so over on this side, the kitchen, 
Um, up here is just some stuff that has to go out of the playroom, but I'm leaving it in here for now. Actually, this phone is now there to play with, but um, yeah. So if you have any questions about anything in the room, because it's not really a playroom tour, it's more of for the organization and cleanup, just leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer any questions or give you any information about anything in the room that you might have a question about. Um, yeah. So yes, first the kitchen area is one of the zones or this is the uh like house area um and then we this is where we keep all of their like home making type things so we have the kitchen and in the kitchen you have all of the kitchen type paraphernalia and this is one thing that we put in place that is really helpful so all of the food has a contained bin with a lid so that they could carry it to and fro and, and also all the food fits in one container. So that's all the hard food. There's wooden food, there's plastic food in there, all in there. And then the other little bin is this one. And this one is for all of the felt food. So all the felt food is in here. And um, we just leave this, actually it doesn't really go there, but it goes in here. And here is just some open shelving where they store all the utensils and types of things like that. I have one behind me, so bear with us in this video. Um, yeah, all the utensils are in there. The kids know utensils go in there. The kids know all the kitchen stuff goes inside of the kitchen. And um, up here, we do display our sauces just because it's cute and the girls do like to keep it out. I, at one point, tried to keep it in the refrigerator, but they would always bring it back out here and put it out here. So this is where it lives. And then right beside the kitchen is where, oh, look, there is a banana slice. But um, right besides the kitchen is the um, cleaning supplies, like their little vacuum and stuff like that. Um, so that goes there. And I just put this up here just because someone gave it to us. It was free. They got it from like a thrift shop, shop or something. That was fairly cute. It's the Wizard of Oz. Um, yeah. So I put that there. And right about that is their bookcase. Um, so this is like zone one. We don't have a specific order or number to one area, but this is like zone one. We do keep this chair right here in zone one. So then over here is would be zone two. And this is our dress up corner where the kids um, dress up, obviously. And well, they store the dress up stuff and and it's usually a wreck, but they do sometimes put the stuff back on the hanger, which um, is why I like having it all in one area and having the, the hangers there for them to attempt to put everything back. So right below it is the shoes. In this bin is all the accessories, their purses, their little headbands, little scarves, hats, whatever um, we have out at one at any given time is in this bin that relates to dressing up um what i would say is that i do minimize how many dress up outfits they have and i'm going to show you in a few, couple minutes um where the rest of the dress up clothing are and they only have one two three four five hangers so they can only have five dress up outfits out at any given time and these are all the shoes that we have left we used to have like 10 pair of dress up shoes i don't know why most most of them were the same size but um we got rid of the rest these are the ones that we kept and this is all that they have now um up here is where they play with their little houses and all the accessories for the little house houses are in this bin and all of the little figurines that they use to play in the house are also all in this bin um they also have, have some smaller little houses or uh, little things that they can play with and that's right there um so yeah that all this stuff is in this bin and this is basically their little toy bin 
and they can keep all these out. This is usually, I just can throw everything in. They can search through it and find whatever they need. Um, right here is some little organizational type bags and things that they use um, with these toys. So they might choose to get all the Peppa Pigs out or whatever. So they'll put it all in a bin and they'll have something to carry around their Peppa Pig. So I keep all of these here for them. And because some of the toys are really small, some of them, they'll, my oldest daughter, she'll carry some of her little small, tiny, tiny, tiny toys in these little bins right here. Of course, a mirror, because you need a mirror if you have a dress up area. That was given to us um, by a friend of ours. And so thank you to her for that. And then over here we have, I guess you can call this one zone three. And zone three is just the dresser. This is like the mommy stuff. Nothing fun, just necessities. We store all of their daily clothing, like their Monday through Friday clothing in here. Um, diapering supplies here. Um, this is my honey spray, and this is about 75% water, 10% um, Brunner's, Dr. Brunner's soap in the lavender scent and then what is oh witch hazel so and then the other 15 percent is about is witch hazel and i use this to clean her bottom i just decided to make my own because we were going through too many bottles and then i had stopped my honest subscription but i still wanted this stuff because this was the bone.com if you have a, di a, a a child in diapers, I recommend that you make this. I'll leave my little com um, concoction amount down below, but this really helps to um, take away the smell off of their bottom without bathing them. And then also it just makes it easy, it's easy to clean them up. And so I always keep this stuff in here and I remake it as I need it. And yeah, their clothing are in here, the little ones clothing, bottoms tops this is just everyday clothes and then over here we have some more little um get ready type of stuff some little honest cream i bought a whole bunch of this when i was subscribed to the honest and this stuff is just really good for moisturizing and helping them heal and all that good stuff lotions in there old remote to a tv that we now are getting rid of some mask head scarf wipes things for cleanup lotion of course and then some stuff that needs to go inside of our storage bins in our closet and then this is all the bigger ones bottoms and her tops everyday clothes and that's it and all of their everyday clothes have to fit in those four drawers anything over that um we just don't have um, i get got rid of them if i notice that something is being worn out and then I go ahead and swap it out. Um, I'll purchase a new shirt or something, but I always have to get rid of the stuff that is getting worn because this is all the space that we have to store everyday clothing. The other clothing is hung up in their actual closet. Um, I would be willing to show you guys how we have the closet organized. If you're interested, leave a comment down below and I can show you how I organize their um, dress, dress clothes, their nicer clothing too. Um, but yeah, so then we have our trash and the grocery cart, which is a pain, but it's so cute. I can't get rid of it. Um, over here is like, I guess zone four and zone four is the simplest zone. And this is just their comfort stuff. Some, you know, their little stuffed animal, all their stuffed animals are in this area besides the one that they choose to keep on display. Um, so yeah, so we swap out stuffed animals only about two, three to four at a time, um, can be in here. And right now I think they have like three, I'll show you guys really quickly. She marked up the pillow. I'm going to buy a pillowcase for that, but yeah, that's all the stuffed animals that they're allowed to have out at a given time. Only four, like two per child. My zone organization closet. So this is the closet that makes it possible for all this stuff to be the only thing that's out and i store all their other toys 
right in here. My husband wanted me to actually get rid of a lot more toys, but I felt like, I mean, they're still playing with the stuff. So let's just minimize and switch out what we allow them to have access at, to at one time. And let's keep their toys and let them have them when they want to play with them. But let's control it. Let them be um, actually able to play with the things that they have out. And then when they get bored and we notice that they're not playing with certain toys, we'll let them switch it out. So this is what makes us able to be able to do this. This closet functions as homeschool overflow storage, um, life overflow storage, and then also toy overflow storage. So right here, this is pretty self-explanatory. These are all shoes that the girls, um, that my oldest daughter no longer can fit and my youngest daughter hasn't yet grown into. So I we recycle all their stuff. So um, yeah, when she's able to fit them, we'll just come here and we'll shop our little closet area, our shoe, shoe boutique right here. And then she'll be able to have some brand new shoes to her. And of course, I only kept the shoes that are in good condition. And if they aren't in good condition, we just got rid of them and she'll, yeah, she just won't have those. So yeah, starting over here in this corner, we have at the top are some bins. They're all organized. These are my favorite types of bins. They have the lock on them. And I think they're latch mates or Sterilite, one of the two. Um, but I got them from Target for like $1.50 or something like that. And these are the $1 bins at Target. I think they're like 98 cents or 96 cents or something like that. They're much better than the ones that come from the Dollar Tree. And um, they have a better capacity and the lid actually closes and stays on the bin. And those are the Sterilite ones. But yes, yeah, so everything is labeled. These are the Legos. This is Lego Overflow um animal figurines vehicles this is some adventurers i'll show you up close adventurers uniform accessories because this is a part of our adventurers club that both of both me and my daughter are a part of i'm on i'm a teacher and she is of course a member um these are just the shoes that go with the uniform there and above here i have some that's mr bucket and all his accessories and pieces are right there with him inside of a Ziploc bag. This is an extra empty bin. Right here is a dress up bin and this is where we switch out the dress up clothes. So this is full of more dress up clothing. Guys, let me show you. Actually, it won't take too long, but so this is the dress up bin. And you'll see she has plenty of other dress up options. Both the girls do. And they can choose, hey, I don't want to be Elsa anymore. Can I be Rapunzel? And they'll take out Rapunzel and put Elsa in the bin. And that's how that works. And then in here are some more dress up things. And then this is all the baby doll accessories as well. Um, and we do the same process. If, they're, if they have a baby doll out, then they can take a baby doll outfit and maybe a couple baby doll accessories at a time out of the bin. And then we swap them interchangeably like that too. In this bin, there's blocks, balls, and Barbies. And that's what it is. And if they wanted to swap, swap out anything that is in this bin, this is where they would swap that stuff. So if they wanted some balls or they wanted some Barbies, then they can swap out some toys that are in here with toys that are in here. I try to, you know, compartmentalize as much as possible to make it easier to put it in and out. So if I wanted the Barbies, Barbies are in one bag. I just pull out the Barbie bag and they choose from the Barbie bag. Right next to that is my scrapbooking stuff. Whenever I have a chance to scrapbook, I haven't scrapbooked in so long. But whenever I do, all of my supplies and materials are in this little brown bin right here. Right besides that brown bin is a little paper what is it called gift bag that has um recycled tissue paper in it because i don't buy tissue paper i don't buy gift bags i recycle all those things and speaking of the gift bags this is the box just an old tissue box and this box houses all of our gift bags of various sizes various um celebration circumstances birthdays 
you know, weddings, whatever. It's all in there, as well as wrapping paper and all the essential party type stuff is in there. Um, underneath that is some more scrapbooking stuff. I think this is like photo photographs for scrapbooking. And then beneath that is some more adventurers overflow stuff, our old binders from our old classes. Right here is a lamp that I actually, this actually won't stay in here, but I want to get time to repair this lamp. I just want to put some glue down here and clean it up. My daughter broke this. And I just don't want to get rid of it because the crack is right here at the base. You can't really tell unless you're up close to it and the light functions well. So I'm going to at some point fix that and put it back out. And then this is just a box of blocks. Over here is my little storage command center here. And in this area on top, we just have some toys that they switch out often. This baby doll. So I didn't want to put her in the bin because they're always wanting to switch out either the baby doll or one of these things. So if, if she has a baby doll out, she only has two baby dolls. So if one's out, one is in and vice versa, as well as these things too, they can choose what they want to put in to replace any of these items. Um, if they are gonna play with the train, they can play with the train. When they're done playing with the train, we put the train back because the train has so many pieces that you really can't swap it out for one toy, you know? But over here, this is their tent, their teepee tent, and they play with this. And when they're done playing with it, I just put it back in here for storage. On our cube organizational area here, I have some extra binders, an extra bin container that I, once we downsized and got rid of some toys, I no longer needed to have out or had anything to put in it. So I just put it there. A toy that we're going to eventually get to play with. She got this for her birthday this year. Shania did. An extra bin. And then this little toy that they chose to swap out. So it's just in there. This is some curriculum for homeschooling. This is just overflow things that we um, don't need right now. As well as some hooked on phonics levels that we're not currently at. Flashcards. A little Bible game, some extra paper here. On that cube is some just old, um, like birthday cards, their baby shower cards, and all those kind of memorabilia stuff is back here. And eventually I'm gonna scrapbook and put that stuff away and downsize and keep only what I want to keep for their memories, but I haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. Down below are some puzzles and, um, games that they're not playing with it right now but i can actually move this tent and pull this bin almost completely out and access anything that i needed to access there so that is that um to this side over here is more dress up costumes and dresses and stuff like that um this was actually gifted to my girls and they haven't yet even gotten to play with this stuff but um, thank you to um, our friend who got us those. And then this is also a dress that was gifted to the girls. Um, it was a old recital dress that someone had no use for anymore. So they gave it to my girl. So thank you to her as well. Right here is our extra bins for when they grow out of clothing. Then I put them in a bin. Currently, we only need the 4T bin because I have a five-year-old and I have a three-year-old. Um, well, she's going to be three years old. So all I need right now is this 4T bin for extra overflow clothes until my five-year-old grows out of her five-year-old clothes. And then in this big tub here, it's just all the extra stuffed animals that they are rotating through. And of course, my boppy pillow that I use for both of my girls. And I just can't find myself to get rid of it. Um... I don't know, maybe one day I'll have another baby. <laughs> so I haven't got rid of it if I just in a year or two, if still have no use for it, then I might get rid of it. But yeah, that's that. So that is this fourth, fifth, fifth zone. Fifth, this is this zone right here, this closet organizational situation. Um, and that is our... Um, playroom and this is how we keep it clean this is how it's organized i hope that this video gave you guys some tips some ideas some inspiration 
all of those things to help you if you are um, thinking about starting getting a playroom for your children or if you have an area that you want to better organize i hope that this video was of some help or assistance or even entertainment to you and if you have any questions just leave them down below and until the next video thank you so much for stopping by and spending this time with me and watching us through this process um, i wish you the best